Here we are back on the allotment. It's the middle of the April 2011. See the neighbouring plot's got his onions in and his garlic. The potatoes are doing very well. But now we come back to my little site. This is my neighbour's site here. Plenty of strawberries I see. I wonder if I'll get one or two of them for my breakfast. Well dug over. My site. Oh, look at all them bricks. I wonder what I'm going to be doing with them. I did have about a ton of manure in that corner there and I've just managed to get it shifted. Right up to the top of the allotment. Here we are. Plot number 7A. It's half an allotment. bit of colour into it. At the moment this is my seating area. There used to be a lot more room until the plant started growing. It's not a bad day today. Here I've just started a little herb garden. Just started it off. A bit of chives. That's lemon mint there. Sage. Rosemary. It's my dinner. Yeah, I needed to get these in fast. These are my strawberry plants. I shouldn't have put them here actually, I ought to have made that into a, a little lettuce patch. These were left here when I got here. To think the black currants. Plenty more bricks. This is for the foundation coarse brickwork for a greenhouse. What I'm going to do is uh, get some old window frames and when I've got enough start planning out the base of the greenhouse and build myself a greenhouse of old winter frames. This is, well it started off being the uh, salad garden. There's quite a bit of lettuce sown in there on the front bit which is mainly where it's dry and then on the second bit I've just planted some more strawberry plants. What I ought to have done is uh, put all the strawberry plants in here and left them there because Wherever I put them, they're going to be staying there for about three years. There's my gooseberry plants. One red and one green. I thought that red one's doing nice. That green one has just got some leaves on it. I thought it had died actually. My onions. A man that knows his onions. Oh, look at the dandelions. Aren't they beautiful? That's the neighbouring plot, by the way, just past that boundary. She cultivates dandelions and weeds, and that's a plum tree, but she picks them green. I don't know why. Yep, I see there's a fair bit of onions in there. I've got about 150 onions, and if they all come out, that'll keep me more than happy for this year. I've got some more onions to put in once I've dug a bit of this over. I'm going to be putting onions in up to about where the fork is. Then I'll be looking to put some uh, root crops and I thought of beetroot. But on the rest of it, where the spade is, I'll probably be starting me uh, cauliflowers and cabbage. In the top half, I'll probably be putting me in peas and beans and runner beans and dwarf beans. That should just about uh, cover it. In fact, my plot actually starts about there where I first started digging. So I'm going to have to do something and put a piece of wood there to stop them weeds intruding, I think. So I'll have a look for some sort of a barrier because uh, I don't think she'll be digging there with those over. Plenty of comfrey there she'll never get rid of as well. And this was the manure. A butterfly. You don't see many of them about. Looks like a red admiral in flight. <coughs> I'm thinking of looking for an apple tree 
two apple trees eating apples. Two eating apples. <coughs> One cooking apple and a pear tree. That's all the manure there that uh, I had delivered. Quite a bit to shift. Not many flies around it, but it still looks very moist. But it'll break down nicely. And then this half here as well. Right, let's just put that back up there. So that's the compost heap there. This is black currant that is. I had four of them but I've uh, dug three up. I didn't get much fruit off them last year. Whether it was a misappropriated from the neighbour, I don't know, but there was nothing on it. So, and behind here, I'm going to be having a beehive just about here where this wood is. And then behind here, I'm going to keep them nettles. The Red Admiral Butterfly actually like nettles. This is the comfrey, I'm letting that grow because that makes good compost. I did actually plant two uh, plants there. And one rhubarb there, fast growing. And there was actually one rhubarb there. Very sweet. I don't know why it died, but maybe it hadn't, it's gone dormant. But And then these are black currants. Nice in moderation, I suppose. And then more wood. That's to go towards the greenhouse. This wood here is going to be the door frame. I've got three of these pieces for a full proper door frame for the greenhouse. They're black currants that are coming over. Nice crop actually. Wild but a good crop. And that's the door for the greenhouse there. All I need is plenty of glass. And that's my little half a plot. So I'm going to have to leave it now and get some more digging done and then go home and have my dinner and get some work done. Uh, I think I'll dig this little bit up here, uh, have something to eat, then I might level that off actually, just, just to get a little bit more done just before I go and then damp it down, rake it down, damp it down and come here and get some beet, uh, onions and beetroot planted and get them on the go. Well, there's enough bricks there for a base. Concrete slabs will make a foundation. So I'm wondering whether to move them strawberries and plant the lettuces in there. I've got plenty of seed left, that would be an ideal spot.